The CDC is set to hold an emergency meeting today on the heels of the FDA's emergency authorization for Pfizer's COVID vaccine for 12 to 15 year olds. Nicole is live at Dallas ISD headquarters this morning where there's already a plan in place to get those younger students the shots. Nicole. Karen, in some parts of the country, some school districts are already vaccinating children as young as 12 years old just on the FDA's approval alone. But Dallas ISD is waiting for the green light from the CDC. I do what I do because I am very pro vaccine. So, um, yes, but I understand it. it it's a difficult choice for, for parents to make. Doctors say children over 10 spread COVID just as easily as older kids. And now the push to get everyone vaccinated ramps up to a different age bracket. Dallas ISD sent permission slips home yesterday for families who would like to take advantage of the option the county is offering. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins tweeted yesterday they will offer buses to transport students to vaccine sites during school hours. Parental consent is, of course, required, and the school district is already on board, determining how to make the process work seamlessly, also noting getting the vaccine is optional, even for their own kids. We just started having that conversation last night. Of course, that age group is always fun to talk to. A shot, another one. <laughs> but he does understand uh, the importance of it because we have um, had family members that have been impacted by COVID. The district is also looking into vaccine opportunities after the school year to make sure every student has the ability to get both doses. That's the latest from Dallas this morning. Nicole Jacobs, Karen, back into you. Thank you, Nicole.